welcome back to my channel she plans she budgets in today's video we'll be going over my weekly check-in number four so let's get started all right so i have my december calendar view opened up right here we already checked in for weeks one two and three um on the side here i have my key legend where i show all of my eight different categories and the different colors that represent each one so the first six are my cash envelopes which are gasoline, groceries, household spending, eating out, and entertainment. And then I have sinking funds as well as unbudgeted. All right, and I have my stickers right here and I have my transactions already marked. It's not many um, to track for this last week of December. And we are tracking in from Sunday the 24th through Sunday the 31st for this last week of the month. All right. So uh, my first several t uh, transactions are all on the 24th, but for uh, today, I'm going to mark them down for the 25th just because I have more space in the box. And um, the 25th was a no spend day, so I'm going to put the no spend day on the 24th. But again, I'm going to just switch all the transactions from the 24th to the 25th just because I have more space to lay them down. So I'm going to start off with... Um, sinking funds, I spent $17.60 out of my home project sinking fund. And then we will go over in the back um, what my sinking funds were for. So again, that was $17.60 out of home projects. And I'm just going to lay that down there. Um, my next sinking fund was actually on the 28th out of annual subscription. So uh, Squarespace came out for $20 and that came out of my annual subscription sinking fund. Normally um, it comes out in January, I believe, unless I was just mistaken because it does only come out once a year. So I could have made a mistake, um, but it came out in, in December. So I'm just going to make sure I don't account for that in January in my sinking funds. All right, so next I have um, personal spending, which I like to represent in this peach color right there. And this was for $12.31 for two different transactions. I purchased um, two debt-free charts or two trackers from um, debtfreecharts.com. And then I also got a bottle of um, wine for $9.00. And again, since that was technically on the 24th, I bought the wine for uh, Christmas Day because I spent Christmas with um, a couple of friends um, this year. So we had a little drinky drink. <laughs> um, I did go grocery shopping on the 24th to do some last minute shopping for Christmas and just for the week. Um, and so I normally like to buy my groceries and household items at the same time. So from HEB for a household, I spent $22.22. And then for groceries, I spent $257.95. So you will see that I definitely overspent for groceries this week. So we'll see how we can make that up in a budget. All right, so again, that was all the expenses for this week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down my no spend stickers. So I had quite a few, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I mark no spend days down for the days that bills come out just because, you know, bills are due. So I like to um, only mark the days as a no spend if I didn't spend out of any of these eight categories. So I'm marking down the 24th because it really was the 25th, but I'm just using the 25th because there's more space for the trackers. So the 25th was a no spend day. The 26th was a no spend day. And, oh, <laughs> I'm steady looking for these stickers. I'm like, where did I just put the other no spend days? Okay, so the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, the 29th, and then the 30th and 31st. So um, in total, that is six no spend days. 
out of eight days, which is really awesome. But that's mostly because it was the end of the month, so you know the budget is pretty low <laughs> towards the end of the end of the month. So can't wait to refresh with uh January's budget. Okay, and then as far as bills, um, as you guys know, I like to um track all of my subscriptions in the first week. So Rapid API and Dictionary was paid. Um, and I did verify that they did actually come out of our um, checking account, the one that we don't track in the back. So that really did happen. But for my electricity bill, that's for 108.28. I'm going to mark it as paid, although it has yet to leave the um, checking account that we do track in the back. Um, but the reason why I'm going to mark it as paid, because I'm sure tomorrow, um, which will be uh, the 2nd of January, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out by then. Um, just so that when I do my account balance with you all on this page, the numbers will match what I'll see tomorrow. So I won't be able to verify it, um, you know, today, but I'll be able to verify it tomorrow. And then by the time I edit and upload this video, I'll probably be able to enter, you know, my little confirmations to let y'all know that the accounts match. But that's the only thing about the end of the month. Um, is because this bill never comes out on the actual day is due, whether it's due the 29th or whatever day. It always comes out the next day. So I guess it comes out the next business day because I checked Saturday, I checked Sunday, and today is January 1st. I checked this morning. It hasn't come out. So I guess because of the holiday, it's going to be delayed for the following business day, which will be Tuesday the 2nd. So... <clears throat> Tomorrow, I'll just verify that this came out and then my uh, weekly balance will just be off for today and, it, and it'll most likely match tomorrow. Okay, but like I said, I'll put a confirmation in the video when I edit this, um, just so you all know that everything is all good. All right, so now that we got that uh, figured out, so for the next page, um, this is where I lay down all of my... Um, expenses for the six categories that we talked about again gasoline groceries household spending eating out and entertainment i have these x's marked here because you know once i realized i went over for groceries i just x it out so i could stop spending from that category same thing for eating out household i just marked it because i always buy it with groceries so if i'm not buying groceries i'm most likely not buying household so i just marked those with x's so i can stop spending out of those categories um so yes for this page so these were the expenses from week four from my cash envelopes and i like to mark whether i use my credit or debit card so for the debt free charts for three dollars i did use my debit card when i purchased that online um and then for the other three transactions i use my credit card so that i can earn some credit card rewards which i can trade in for direct deposits um, I get a, a range of percentages back. It's not just one number. It's the, it depends on what I use it for. So I think groceries gets like 2%. Um, eating out gets 3%. And I believe everything else gets 1% back. Um, so that's why I like to use my credit card for most things. Cash envelopes, sinking funds, um, one of my current bills, and yeah. It's very, very useful. And then I just do weekly transfers so that I can, um, so that I can, um, <laughs> avoid paying interest. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and check these off. Um, just because I did go ahead and do a transfer, um, before I started filming this video, just because I didn't want, um, uh, my numbers to get too confusing because if you caught my last video, um, which was my calendar set up for January. I mentioned that I got, um, my January 1st paycheck early on the 29th. So when I had checked my account, I think on Saturday or something, I was quite surprised at the amount that was in there. Cause I was just like, um, 
what just happened because i did the transfer for the january monthly budget plus then my paycheck came in so i was just like what's going on so i just did a couple of transfers so i wouldn't be confused so i technically transferred this already but we'll still calculate the numbers to see what the transfer number was and then here on the next page i think i'm going to save this for when we do the budget closeout um but for here we're going to go ahead and mark down the 108 and 28 cents that is the amount for my electric bill down here um and then we'll do we'll finish this page out in a budget closeout as well all right so next for uh sinking funds i mentioned we was going to go over my expenses so from the home projects fund on the 24th for $17.60 i did buy some new glassware which uh, was a glass bowl and some glass cups um just so i can use it for christmas day and then i believe i bought something else as well that i forgot to mark down because it didn't the glassware wasn't 17 dollars; it was a little less but i'm trying to remember what else did i buy oh i had bought uh two uh christmas scented candles as well and all of that came from heb so that's what it was it was glassware and candles and then the last transaction as i already mentioned was squarespace for 20 dollars on the 28th and that came out of annual subscriptions because that is one of our yearly um bills all right, so now for the weekly check-in for week number four, we're checking in from the 24th through the 31st. So we can go ahead and calculate what was spent and remaining. So I had um, one, two, three expenses because these two are sinking funds and I don't track them on this weekly check-in page. I just keep track of it in the transaction log here on my sinking funds page. So for those transactions, um, we just have groceries, household, and spending. So this will be a quick and easy one. And I did want to go back to this page real quick because I just realized I didn't check off that 1760 because again, I did do a transfer before I filmed this video. Okay, so for gasoline, which is represented in red, nothing was spent. So I'm just going to cross that off. And then for groceries, I did spend two... 57 with 95 cents and I normally put a minus sign not a dollar sign so let me just I'm like what's going on girl <laughs> I feel all over the place right now For household, I spent a total of $22.22, so minus $22.22. And then for spending was $12.31, nothing for eating out and nothing for entertainment. Okay, so remaining for gasoline, last week in week three, I had um, $81.54. Oh, I'm actually doing way better than I was thinking because I was expecting us to do one more fill up for the week. And now uh, it just dawned on me that we didn't fill up. So, all right, I'm going to have a little bit more money left over than I was thinking. Um, for groceries, we had 151.11. So we had 151.11 minus... 257 and 95 cents so that means we went over budget by a hundred and six dollars with 84 cents Whew. that was pretty bad <laughs> so for last week i had 51 dollars in household so minus 22 22 so that means i have 28 dollars and 78 cents for spending i had 22 dollars and 96 cents so minus 1231 means i have 10 dollars and 65 cents remaining for eating out eating out was already negative by 78 cents and that's still true so minus 
78 cents. And then lastly for entertainment, we had $69.11 remaining, so 69.11. And I'm considering rolling that over into January um because we do plan on doing a couple of things in january our normal monthly budget is a hundred dollars which might be enough to do to do what we plan on doing in january but i'm thinking about rolling this over in january to um give more to entertainment or i might use it for something else in the budget i'm just going to see how it all works out okay so let's go ahead and add up the total spent, which was 257, oops, 257.95 plus 22.22 plus 12.31. So that's a total of $292.48. And we can go ahead and write that number down right here on the weekly balance. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and write minus 292. 92 with 48 cents and let me just go back for real quick so with all with all this because i have some red um red in the last week what i would do is um because add up i would add up all the black numbers and then subtract the red and then whatever is left over from that is what i would be what is what i would consider left over <laughs> from these uh, cash envelopes. So even though I went over groceries by a lot, um, I would just consider, you know, the other amounts I have in the cash envelope. So for the entire category, I would be under. So like for instance, so like you see this $81.54 plus the $28.78 from household, the $10.65 from spending and the $69.11 from entertainment so all of that is still a hundred and ninety dollars with eight cents so that can cover the 78 cents i went over in eating out and the 106.84 that i went over in um groceries so that will leave me with a positive 82 dollars and 46 cents in my cash envelope so that is still considered good i didn't go over my original budget of 1550 and that's what we budgeted in the beginning of the month of december so 1550 so that means i'm still under by 82 dollars. so that's how i work out the red um in this case all right so now that we totaled that up and added it here so as you can see here in week four for cash envelopes i started with 374 dollars and 94 cents for the um week and we should get that same number. So 374.94 minus the 292, the 292.48 spent for the week, $82.46. So that is what's remaining in my cash envelopes for the week or at the end of the month. Okay, so next is bills, and as we already discussed, my only bill was the electricity bill because these uh, subscriptions right here was taken care of in week one, so it's included in that um, $2,400 amount. So electricity is $108.28. So um, although it didn't come out yet, I'm going to just mark it here because when my account do balance tomorrow, I want the numbers to match. So um, 108.28 plus, um, and the reason why I'm adding something, because if you recall from my previously previous weekly check-ins, I said I wanted to save this unbudgeted expense for the end of the month. And luckily it was the only one I had for the month. So I'm gonna do plus 28.65, because I do want to pay that off um, out of the bill money, just because it's, um, it has some extra funds in it. So I'm gonna just mark that down for 136.93 to include the electricity bill and the Uber ride because I use my uh, credit card for that. So that was minus 136 with 93 cents. And then I'm subtract that from the starting, which was $180.79. So 180.79 means I should still have $43 
and 86 cents in the bill money. And then lastly, for sinking funds, I started off with $907 with 96 cents. And then from the two transactions for the week, which was $17.60 plus $20, means I spent a total of $37.60. $37.60 um, minus the $907 with $0.96. Cents means I should still have $870.36 remaining in my sinking funds. And when we do my budget closeout video, we will verify what's um, left over after we subtract all of these expenses and do what was added from what we started with. It should equal this 80, 70, and 36 cents, but we will verify that in my next video. Alrighty, so to do a total of spent for the week, which is 136.93 minus, or not minus, plus 292 and 48 cents, plus 37.60 means $467.01 was spent, or at least will be spent once electricity come out. And subtracting that from what I started with, $1,463 and 69 cents so that means this should total 996 dollars and 68 cents and let's add it for that side real quick just to double check so 4386 plus 8246 plus 870 with 36 cents okay so 996.68 all right, that matches, so all good there. So um, my account should have this number in it by tomorrow once the electricity comes out, and hopefully it comes out tomorrow because <laughs> I like for my numbers to match. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do is just show you guys what I had to transfer um, before the start of this video. So uh, we can just start with the sinking funds. So if you notice, I had the $20 already checked off, and that's because it came out of a different account separate from this one. So I'm just going to do the $17.60 because that came out on the credit card. And then uh, these three transactions came out on the credit card as well. So plus $257.95 plus two or $22 and 22 cents plus the $9.31. So I transferred a total of 307 and eight cents earlier. Alrighty. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and check these off because everything has been verified and transferred. And I'm also going to check off this Uber ride from week two. All right, so everything has been checked in. The only thing I'm technically waiting on is the electricity bill to actually come out of my account tomorrow and other than that we are all good so everything else will close out in my closeout video which will be coming up next so please stay tuned for that i'm just trying to see is there anything else i wanted to discuss in this video i just want to thank you all so much for watching this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you all next time bye